Pedro tank actually was quite exciting and worked really well. But I must give credit mostly to, uh, to, to the, the mechanical effects people and the special effects people who, and John Beekler as well, who put a lot of that together. The idea actually goes back to the writer and actually goes back to Charlie Van. I think the idea um, of Mandroid himself, half man, half machine, was Charlie's that he got from wherever. It, you know, that idea is not, I mean, there are a lot of people who talked about robots and cyborgs and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I think Charlie was the one who sort of put it together in terms of his own mind and the idea behind the story and the Eliminators. And the idea was that as a machine, he could turn into all these different things. And that might have even gone back to Charlie. So I got in sort of after the script was written and he was already there. Uh, in terms of how we we're going to do that, they figured, well, let's, you know, he'll have the mechanical legs when he does and he can take his legs off and go into a machine. So we'll use a kind of a half track machine and they research ones and you find different ones. And that sort of just evolves through the technology of what was available at the time. But there were things we wanted to do. We wanted to roll. We wanted to roll downstairs. We wanted him to, to, to be able to go at certain speeds with the thing. We wanted him to be able to fire his lasers while I did all this stuff. And um, I did work particularly with the pyro people in Spain on trying to make sure we could have effects as much as possible that looked as good as possible. Um, and some of them, I think, even though they were quite challenging for us and spectacular for us on the set, like some of the, the boat crash and things, they weren't as big as I wanted them to be. So we were limited by budget, certainly. Um, but the Mandroid, all the effects of the Mandroid himself were fantastic and worked really well.